Hi guys. My name is Igor. I am an engineer on 49 meters motor yacht and today I am going to show you how Alpha Laval fuel water separator works. A fuel water separator is a device that works to ensure clean fuel is delivered to the engine. First, I need to fill this tank with water. The tank must be full. This is a separator. Day fuel is filtered before use and before starting the engines, if the yacht has been staying for a week or more. Fuel manifold. This is a diesel flow meter. It shows fuel in gallons. I will set it to zero to see how much fuel I have filtered. This is a separator Alpha Laval control box. Here I can see the fuel level. I have six tanks in total. Two of them are small, they are on the sides. The first tank is empty. There are 2,500 gallons in the second one. The third one is empty either. 2,600 gallons in the fourth one. I always start by running a day tank, here 698 gallons. I must filter the fuel since we have been staying for several days and there might be condensation. I turn on the separator. I can see an alarm. It should be like that. It is because the centrifuge has not picked up speed yet. I start the separator. From the sound, I can hear when it started up and went into its normal mode of operation. I will turn off the sound so you can hear me. Before I let fuel to get there, I must close the drain valve. Supply fresh water for plates rinsing. You can see the water disappear. When the water is gone I am shutting off the valve. I let Alpha Laval some time to work. I am opening the drain valve just to make sure that the water is in its place. Nothing drips. Close it again. After that we filter the already filtered fuel. That is the fuel that will go to the main engines. We open Alpha Laval suction valve. And day tank filling. Then I turn on the pump. First position, alarm. Turn to the second position and wait for pressure. Open day tank suction valve. The pressure has risen to 1 bar and fuel circulation 3.5 gallons per minute. The diesel flow meter started counting. We have filtered 600 gallons of fuel, which took us 3 hours. The first thing I do is turn off the pump. Right after that I close fuel day tank suction. Wait a bit and open a drain valve. Turn off the separator. Now I must see water, but not fuel. If we see fuel, it means something went wrong. There is no leakage. Everything is fine. As the water level does not exceed the drain level. Turn off the drain valve for the next start. I always keep the drain valve close at the startup. And if the tank level is full, the alarm goes off. There we go. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel. See you.